in Tijuana, Mexico. As we see a pair of undefeated fighters about to go toe to toe. Jesus Diaz Cantu in the ring just now. Six and zero record with four knockouts. From right here in Tijuana. About to go up against Jose Alvarado. Also undefeated. 3-0 record with three knockouts. We've had a lot of evenly matched fights so far, guys. And here's another one. About to get underway as El Karma Alvarado looking to get another knockout to his ledger. Making a little stroll around the ring from not too far away here. Ensenada, Baja California is his home. A big contingent of fans here to watch him tonight. 3-0 against 6-0. Let's see what transpires. Both fighters are in the ring. Now let's take it up to our ring announcer, Pablo Flores, to get the particulars. Damas y caballeros, Toscano Boxing Promotions presenta este encuentro pactado a seis rounds en la división de peso ligero. And ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready for six rounds of boxing in the lightweight division. Your three judges scoring this bout in ringside. Sus tres jueces, Alejandro Rochin, Carlos de la Rocha y Jesús Hernández. And your referee for this bout, el referee para este combate, Ángel Méndez. Introducing the fighters standing in the red corner, wearing black with green and red. He officially weighs in 135 pounds. Presentando ustedes en la esquina roja, pantalón sin color negro con verde y rojo, con un peso de 135 libras. He stands with the record, an undefeated one. Six victories, no losses, and three, four of those victories coming by the fast way of knockout. Presenta un récord. Seis victorias, cero derrotas y cuatro de esas victorias por la vía del cloroformo. De Tijuana, Baja California. Jesús Díaz Cantú. And his opponent across the ring is standing in the blue corner. He wears blue with pink and silver. He officially weighs in the same 135 pounds. Y su rival en la esquina azul, vistiendo pantaloncillo color azul con rosa y con plata, con un peso idéntico de 135 libras. He stands with a record, an undefeated one. Three victories, no defeats, and all of his three victories coming by the fast way of knockout. Presenta un record de tres victorias, cero derrotas, y todas sus victorias por la vía del cloroformo. Originario de Ensenada, Baja California, y ahora representando los colores de Tijuana. Damas y caballeros, representando Toscano Boxe. José El Karma Alvarado. And with the final instructions, your referee, Ángel Méndez. Six rounds. Damn, what a stare down just now. Alvarado just mean mugging Cantoon just now. That was a pretty good mean mug. I don't know, I'm getting like these uh, Marcos Maidana vibes from uh, Cantoon. I don't know, it's <laughs> kind of like a, you look at him, yeah. kind of, yeah. you know? Get that vibe from him. Four rounds in the welterweight division. Going down right now. Alvarado in the blue trunks with pink trim. Taking on a fellow undefeated fighter, 6-0. Jesus Diaz Cantu in the black shorts with red trim. Alvarado coming into this fight with three knockouts in a row, 3-0. A lot of power. Both fighters from Mexico. Powerful punches. You got to think are going to be coming from Alvarado. 
kind of a more compact, stocky fighter, right, Chris? He looks like it, but you know what? Coming forward. Ooh. Oh. Alvarado all over Cantu now. Oh. oh. Cantu he's may hurt. look like he's, he's out on his feet. Alvarado is throwing punches. He's trying to stop. I don't know how Cantu's Kat down. Referee rules it a slip. Oh, yeah. He was, Alvarado looks oh, hurt. He, he looks at his corner. Hurt. He is hurt. I don't yeah. like what I'm seeing from Alvarado now. I mean, excuse me, Cantu. Oh. Cantu now firing back. I think Alvarado gassed himself out. So, Marcos, you were going to say about the compactness of Alvarado. Of Alvarado. And I was going to come back with the, with the fact that Cantu was coming forward. Both fighters exchanging in the pocket. Good series of combinations on the inside being landed by Cantu. He seemed on shaky legs earlier, but now he's taking these punches well. Yeah, he was very, very hurt, but as soon as he got his legs back. I think Alvarado might have gassed himself out a little bit. Maybe slightly, but you know what? Cantu throws those sharp uppercuts. Yeah. Reminds me of Juan Manuel Marquez. Watch when he throws that uppercut. Ooh. Cantu needs to be careful. He needs to keep yeah. that hand up or he's going to get caught with the hook from Alvarado. Yeah. Yeah, he sneaks in an uppercut. Look at that uppercut. Yeah, Again, those, those are Marquez it's a uppercuts. very sharp uppercut. Oh. Yeah. Alvarado just egging him on. He wants a fight on the inside. Well, I had a feeling this fight was going to be good, guys, <laughs> just based on the face-off that Alvarado yeah. gave Cantu. too. But the records as oh, well. Oh, a jab, power jab there from Alvarado. Yeah. That was a really good jab. Stumbled oh, Cantu. Wow. Beautiful a one-two right landed, oh. followed up by a hook. Yeah, the punches of Alvarado are the ones that are... They're the heavier punches. Yeah, they're stunning Cantu whenever they land. Yeah. Cantu needs to be careful. Got to take his time, pick his shots. And there goes that uppercut by Cantu. But it doesn't seem to be enough to stop Alvarado. 10 seconds in this first round. Excuse me. The, yeah. the clock was off here on our graphics. <laughs> but what a first round, guys. Alvarado, it seemed that he might have had Cantu extremely hurt, but might have gassed, him uh, gassed himself out in the process. Slightly, yes. I, I, I believe uh, Giovanni was right when he said he gassed out. You know, uh, Cantu was throwing sharp punches, but when you get hurt like that, you know you know when you play fight night and, and that, that power meter goes down? That's a very good assessment yeah. of what it is in a real fight because it'll tire you out. Yeah. I think that tired, uh, that tired out Cantu. And we'll see it right here. So beautiful left hook landed there by Alvarado. Right on the chin. Right on the chin of Cantu. Right there. He's trying to stop him. He's going forward. He's, he's going all out. This might have actually hurt him because he gassed out. But C Cantu, he, he survived. He survived He definitely that. hung in there, you know. And sometimes I say it's a detriment. You know, when you hurt somebody early. Like right now you said he gassed out. Yeah. Giovanni Alvarado, you said, you're saying gassed out. It may have been, you know, he, he, yeah. he blew his water right there. But it seems, yeah, Cantu is going a little bit more forward right now. He's sitting down on his punches now. Those uppercuts, he's sitting on them. He wasn't doing that the first round. No, he's thrown some very oh, beautiful yeah. combinations on the inside as Cantu. Just textbook stuff coming from him when he's on the inside. But yeah, what I said from the beginning, I, I like those uppercuts, but now you're right, he's throwing more of a combination. But I like those uppercuts by Cantu, man. Just Alvarado, though. Every time he lands, it seems to have an effect. Yeah, he definitely Cantu. seems like to, to be the more solid punch. Yeah, he's the a more two. powerful guy. Cantu having a good beginning of this round number two. He's been more active, knows that uh, he lost that first round. Definitely lost that first round. Oh, yeah. big overhand landed by Alvarado. Alvarado is counterpunching him right now. See, and there goes that sharp uppercut again, man. I like it. I like it. Taking notes here. He's 
clean punch being landed now by Cantu. There's Both no these guys have shown some really great stuff. Cantu in a slouch. He's 6-0. and oh, Not by, by accident. He, he's a solid fighter. Yeah. Uh, Alvarado is taking his time more, but, but he, he saw something. He figured something out. He's trying to counter him. He's not throwing it much, but he wants to counter him, catch him with that hook. Cantu has to be careful, but he is. He, he's doing more right now. He's sitting down and he's punching more. Yeah, and Cantu's Oh, beautiful head movement there. Yeah. Cantu, Cantu's throwing a lot of uh, oomph in, in these punches, but yeah, right. Alvarado, like I said, just picking him off. There Countering you go. well. Counter Another him hook and by Alvarado. He heard him again. He heard him again, Marcos. Let's see if Alvarado can pull Cantu out. Both fighters exchanging now. Cantu knows this could be a Alvarado. do or die moment. Alvarado's taking his time. He doesn't want to gas out. He knows he, got, he, you know, he, he knows he has Cantu hurt. He wants to catch him with that hook, that same hook. That's what he's looking for. Oh, nice job. Nice job. There oh! You go. there you Down go. goes Cantu from a hook by Alvarado. He's extremely hurt. He's very hurt. Seven, eight, Cantu, let's see if he can survive here. He's getting warmed right. by the referee. He's hurt. He, I don't know. He was given a lot of let's, time. Let's, let's see, see if he can Alvarado survive. Can survive. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> don't touch your gloves. <laughs> he wants Alvarado to kill time, coming hey. forward now. Puts together a one-two. Alvarado's waiting for the hook again. He's being patient. Wow. wow. And he was wow. patient. He I, I yeah. think he could have blitzed yeah. him if he wanted to. Yeah, he, he definitely could've. could have blitzed him. Yeah. You're right. That was a very good hook. Yeah, that's what he's looking for. Alvarado's sitting on every single punch he's throwing. He's not throwing much as much as Cantu, but he's sitting on his punches. Cantu's arm punching half of the punches he's throwing. Man, what, what heart being displayed by Cantu, but Alvarado's power, oh my goodness. Yeah, you know what? He started off the round very slow, but I mean, it's just how you finish, right? Not how you start. Yeah. That was a very... Very hard punch landed by Alvarado. A he lot of, had, uh, go, a lot go, of go. respect to Cantu. He got up from, the, from both of those knockdowns and he re, he recovered. His last knockdown, he was hurt. He, yeah, he was hurt. Yeah, definitely kept his game face on yeah. after that knockdown, man. Yeah, he even no. tried to touch gloves, trying to get some extra time, but <laughs> Alvarado they, they yeah, didn't want to have any of that. Did do that. Um, I remember something that you mentioned, Chris, in our first fight. Cantu's fighting like he's he's never lost before. Yeah. And he doesn't absolutely. want to give up that yeah. oh. Absolutely, man. He's in there fighting a very tough opponent, and he's not trying to give an inch, man. And you see it. And that's what makes good fights, Marcos. So we got round number three. <laughs> man, this is barely round number three. Wow, now. yeah, you're right. It's barely <laughs> round number three. He went by quick. Alvarado taking his time. Yeah. This he's is surprising. Yeah, he's, he's just looking to counter punch him because what happens is when Cantu's firing, throwing combination punches, he's leaving his right hand down. I also think that uh, Cantu hits hard enough to get Alvarado's respect. You know, that's why he has to fight this way. Cantu measuring Alvarado. Had him backed up for a bit, but Alvarado has a lot of power, but he's showing very good defense. Yeah, hey, he's very crafty in there. Just wow. lands a counter overhand just now. Yeah, he, he figured something out after the second round. He, he saw something. He's countering him. That's all he has to do. Well, he knows he has the power to hurt him. Yeah. Cantu, though, continues to come forward. A trial by fire for him. A lot of heat being thrown at him as well from Alvarado. He's on the defensive so far. It was so that last round. Yeah, but, but he's, just, he's just being patient. He, he, yeah. Yeah, every time he lets his hands go, you see that Cantu gets hurt. Yeah. So as a fighter, Marcos, there's something you, you feel. You feel it in there. You feel that he can't hurt you. Oh, body shot seemed to have hurt Cantu <laughs> yeah. just now. That was a very weird reaction. Yeah. The body shot reactions are always delayed, though. Oh, big hand oh. landed by Alvarado. He follows it up. Oh. He may go for the kill now. Cantu hurt. Alvarado, yeah. the yeah, corner totally. throws the towel. Alvarado gets a big wow. TKO victory here in Tijuana. Oh, man. 
That doesn't look good. Wow. Alvarado is pumped up, gets on his knees, praying. He looks sensational here tonight. Yeah, and you know what, Marcos? He did look sensational. Alvarado is game. He's strong. But I want to give props to the corner right now, man. They're recognizing that their fighter is hurt, and they threw in the towel. Yeah. And right now, you know, um, everybody has to recognize that this is a difficult sport, man. Absolutely. And Jesus Diaz Cantu, he's hurt. He's hurt right now. And, and receiving medical attention right now. The corner is helping out, taking off his gloves. But they did the right thing, man. I'm glad. Good yeah. for them. Good for them. So we take a look back at some of the action that happened in that last round. Big punches, all landing flush from Alvarado, the referee, jumping in. You see the towel being thrown from Cantu's corner. And we didn't get a good angle because we got um, the back of Cantu, but his eyes were gone man his eyes were gone his balance was off once again man kudos to the corner to recognize you know undefeated fighter yes but safety is paramount man safety is paramount yeah i think i think Kantu, if he would have boxed him and moved he he would have done a lot better he he stood too much around him after he finished throwing a combination that's how he that's how he got caught I think it's just Alvarado just had too much power for him. Yeah, yeah, to, yeah. That, that's what it is, man. I mean, now four and zero with four knockouts. It's just what it is, man. He just, yeah. he's just a strong guy. Yeah. Alvarado's you know? a very, very, very uh, uh, heavy punch and puncher fighter. So it's easy for for uh, for us to say that Cantu could have boxed, but it's <laughs> it's hard to say that that he could have against Alvarado. Alvarado. Looked very strong tonight, guys. Yeah, he uh, he was sitting down on his punches. That was the difference. Let's go ahead and take it up to our ring announcer, Pablo Flores, to make this win official for Alvarado. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, And ladies and gentlemen, we have the official time of two minutes and one second in round number three. Tenemos el tiempo oficial, dos minutos con un segundo en el round número tres. Declaring your winner by the way of TKO victory. Su vencedor por la vía del knockout técnico. Ensenada y Tijuana. José El Karma. Alvarado.